essentially um, where is it where is she so if you're not familiar there is a section of Twitter that specifically well that I kind of follow some main people on there who are very outspoken within the dance music industry which I've mentioned before right and they have they've essentially taken this um, what we're having now you know this current thing that we're going on now at the moment with um far left leaning ideologies you know permeating through um the current kind of political climate at the moment and people fighting back against what they call the alt right and you know um nationalism and all this sort of stuff it's just a weird time in culture at the moment right but it feels as if like the progressives or the people on the left have essentially won the war of ideas for the most part right most people tend to agree on the whole immigration is bad like, about immigration is bad they tend to agree on the state They're basically giving you free health care whatever all these sort of like general stuff that people kind of agree on in terms of the you know general consensus in the world at the moment so the right is sort of like you know they're sort of losing influence in that regard some people would argue against that but you know that's generally kind of where we're at so there's a group of people who have essentially made it their mission to maybe rewrite the narrative in dance music right to rewrite um what actually occurs what goes on what the lineups look like um the sensibilities of it the tone of some of the words that are used the pictures who is basically put up front in terms of representing the scene or the culture right they feel it they feel as if it doesn't necessarily represent what they kind of see week in week out or when you go out to clubs and it doesn't right i have to explain admit that myself um when i go out you know it's, disapp it's disappointing when you go to like a you know a rave or a promotion and they you know keep booking the same five or six djs it's the same sort of approach um it's the same way of kind of promoting how they sort of um launch the event how they sell tickets the spaces they use it's all just kind of a bit stale um because for the most part these guys invest a lot of money into setting up these events and they don't want to take any risk right they're risk adverse for the most part so they just do what no they know works do i think it's malicious no i don't really think it's malicious i don't think they purposely get up and try and fuck over you know non-white artists in the scene i just think certain people have a tendency to pick what they know or certain people just do what happens happened to me which i benefited from if you do a really good job in one place with one promoter with one bar owner whatever it may be and they like your attitude they like you know that you come in promptly you deal with yourself professionally you know you play um well to the crowd they just keep you on because they know that they, they don't they don't have to think too much about it so i don't think that's that's really um that's necessarily a bad thing but anyway let's get back on the, this thing because I, I keep rambling on but this story i wanted to speak about was concerning black madonna so black madonna got a bit of hot bother because black madonna isn't actually a black madonna she's not in a sense she doesn't look like madonna from the 80s uh but in blackface she doesn't look like a girl that happens to be black that also looks like madonna she just happens to be a white dj lady who happens to have the name black madonna now under her um, if you listen to what she has to say, the reason why she explains that name is the reason why she chose that name is because it's got some sort of Catholic roots, right? There is a saint, um, there is a deity um, in Catholicism referred to oftenly as the Black Madonna. Now, how that Black Madonna actually got the shade of black that you commonly see in window towers is a bit, you know, dubious whether or not she was rolling around in the ash pit somewhere, whether or not she's a fan of Michelle Lamy's style of makeup whether she was an early mua on youtube before there was a youtube we don't know whether she was black or whether she was in full black no black face black body right we don't know if that's an actual thing but regardless it always in again and i'm not the wokey you know give me more j gigs because i'm black guy but i have to admit when i first saw her i was a bit taken aback right because she doesn't look black at all right she she, she probably won't mind me saying this she's a very pale woman so for her to say that she's a black madonna it really just strikes me a bit as odd but it also is kind of par of course really sort of like standard procedure when it comes to uh being a dj i think for the most part most dj's names are a bit naff most dj's start off with what three or four names i probably i probably went through about six before you settle on one that works and sometimes there isn't a reason to it it's just something you kind of maybe i don't know you might have saw on a postcard it might have been something that was used on a flyer it might have been um a nickname you got from some drunken promoter in the middle of rome i don't know it could be whatever and if it works it sounds good who are you to go in 
chuck that away somewhere especially after you caught yourself hydro like i did back in the day so i don't think it was done with any sort of malicious attempt i just think she sort of picked the name randomly and then had to sort of like figure out something to uh give herself a reason as to why that name sort of worked and then over time people of course for like i've always said previously i just think i'm a big believer in cancer culture does exist but i'm also a big believer in if you get cancer it's usually an indication people don't like you that's usually indication but if you do get cancelled it's like people just don't like you so i think for whatever reason i'm not sure what it is whether or not it's because of that boiler room video do you remember the famous boiler room video where she's destroying the let's see if i can find it where she's destroying the mixer i'm not sure it's because of that i'm not sure it's because of her being a white woman dj i'm not sure it's because of her political views which i have no idea what they are but whatever reason people just don't like her and they didn't give her any any um benefit of the doubt and maybe her explanations didn't help either but essentially it got so bad in the recent weeks they made a petition about her changing her name and all this sort of good stuff and she just eventually ended up changing it to guess what the blessed madonna the blessed madonna I'm not sure if that's better or not but it's a weird story and i'm going to read it out to you now because i think ra did a good job of rounding it up let's get up on here on screen for you guys to see and we'll go through this right now cool so here we go so Mar maria stamper i didn't know that was her name changes her name from the black madonna this is the following it says maria stamper f uh, formerly known as the black madonna has changed her artist name to the blessed madonna right uh, Stamper made a change a day after the Detroit artist Monty Luke launched an online petition titled The Black Madonna is Time to Change Your Name, um, which was supported by King Brit and amongst others. Uh, Luke called the name a problematic, offensive and cultural appropriation. Read the full statement here. He goes into it really hard, to be honest. He says it follows. It says um, uh, she's this is her comment. Um, she writes the following she says my artist name has been a point of controversy and confusion and pain and frustration that distracts from the things that are thousands of times more important than any single word in that name um, she says she continues here we're living in extraordinary times this is a small part of much bigger conversation but we all have a responsibility to try and affect positive change in any way we can criticism of stampers use of black madonna goes back years in an interview with quiet quieter 2017 she defended it by claiming that as devout catholic the name was a part of her culture before announcing the blessed madonna she briefly changed her social media handles to the black law school as the logo is be oh <laughs> man this is a funny story so again I think people don't like her anyway. So I think you have to just treat it with that sort of lens. People just don't like the woman. I don't know why. They just don't like her. The name change, I think that original Quietus interview was a bit telling because it felt as if she was coming off. She came across a bit defensive, um, which I then explains to me that she didn't really have an idea why she chose that name. It just happened to be a name that stuck, that worked, right? Like I said, picking a DJ name is bloody difficult. It's like picking track titles for, you know, stuff that you produce. It's really, really difficult to do, um, especially if you try and think about it any, any longer than five seconds. It's like, ah, oh, suddenly it, you come up with enough names. So she found a good name. She stuck with it. And then, you know, the internet reacted, right? You can't, you know, you're not in charge of how people react to stuff. And then people saw that she didn't necessarily buckle underneath the first bit of pressure that was just like change her name that's offensive and she's a co op this weird sort of catholic stance which i don't know if it's real or not regardless of what it is i just think it's interesting to see what's going on because i think at the heart of this it's not really a black madonna thing i just think there's a lot of pain going on at the moment there's a lot of hurt a lot of anger a lot of frustration in the scene and most of it i think has to do with this idea that a certain a segment of the scene especially the people that are non-whites right let's say the blacks the browns the asians in the scene that happen to be djs artists ma managers it, mostly i don't know let's say the front facing um mostly the people that play behind the decks they feel as if they don't get a fair crack of the whip so you look at somebody like a black madonna right they see her um let me see if i can get this video they see the black madonna doing the black Madonna Boiler Room Yep Mixer See if I can get it up on here Someone Someone's definitely got it here on YouTube 100% Alright Yeah there we go Fade of Destruction So they see the Black Madonna doing this And they go to themselves Surely Surely I can play the If 
you're not seeing this it, and you think it sounds horrible it looks even worse she's essentially pulling um the crossfade on the mixer side to side aggressively in a manner where she's essentially jerking the mixer back and forth in a way and you can just see people's faces behind her she's doing it like ouch it's hurting everyone's face ears there's looks of confusion anger frustration and just general bewilderment at what she's doing <laughs> And again, I don't think it's fair, right? Because I think she's a pretty decent DJ. She's probably a better producer than she is a DJ. She's got some great remixes out there. But I just think for a certain segment of people, they just must look at her and think, how the hell have you been able to go so far in your career whilst being so average at what you do? Or whilst being so ordinary? Or by via being such mediocre as I am, right? Or whatever it may be the case. And I don't think that's her fault really i just think it's a fault or a consequence of the scene we're in i just think there's a lack of clubs there's a lack of clubs willing to take chances there's a lack of people actually putting this line their kind of money where their mouth is people always talk a big game on social about how the scene has changed but there's rarely any people really coming up and putting their money where their mouth is and opening their own clubs for the issues people have again i have issues myself with what subclub did right subclub went out and you know raised money from people who are on benefits when they have a fucking co-founder that's you know a multi-millionaire that's taking a piss but it's their business right they can do whatever they want with it i think if you have a lot of opinions about how some people conduct their lineup or they put their things together you should be trying your best especially now especially during this moment where everyone's got their kind of everyone's sort of got their wallets and their purses open and they've got their eyes and ears <coughs> and their minds willing to receive a different sort of perspective this should be an opportunity where if you're marginalized or you feel as if you're not getting a fair crack up in the scene you should be trying to gather your resources pull your friends together and trying to secure investment alone wherever you may be so you can open up your own spot i think that's very much needed now i don't think we're in a position i just don't like as much as I kind of have an issue with what Black Madonna named herself in the first place, I also think all the vitriol she's been getting is just unfair. It's not her fault that the scene propped her up. It's not her fault that she got further in her career based on this kind of racially ambiguous name, right? It is what it is, isn't it? Like, it's just a name. I don't know. I, I'm sure there's artists out there, especially artists that are non-white that moved over to Berlin during the heyday that gave themselves a weird sort of like German sounding industrial name to push their career forward. And no one's moaning about that. So that isn't necessarily the issue. I just think there's such a lack of opportunity in the scene that people are getting so angry during this time where everyone's sort of like, you know, arguing about what's going on in society at the moment they want to change things but i don't think cancelling black madonna is the way i think the op the way is for us to have more platforms to play more spaces that we can play in more promoters and punters willing to take a chance on a lineup that doesn't just contain the top 20 voted djs on ra right and one that kind of reflects the scene in general what the kind of mood is going on at the moment i've said it many times i've always enjoyed I've enjoyed more than nights I've been out where there's obviously been a girl on the lineup. And I've said it even play, people sometimes don't believe me, but it's definitely true. You can walk into a, a, a nightclub in London, not know what the lineup is and be able to tell and feel in the air based on the music playing, based on the ambience. If there's somebody playing, that's not just, that's a non bro, right? Like a girl or someone, right? Someone playing behind the decks. You can just tell because there's a certain way of playing that you're used to hearing year in year out because that's how you one plays in the nightclub so when you get somebody that's a non-cis white male playing in the nightclub it, it immediately sounds different it looks different even in a club right because they instantly bring their friends and their friends bring their friends it just makes for a far better cohesive nightclub experience but i think it's unfair to expect soco loco for instance to suddenly start booking these people that are complaining on Twitter, it's not going to happen, right? Because they, their scenes don't even mash well, right? Um, it's, we're, we're in the same sort of subculture, but our audiences are completely different, right? I, I, I don't think the people that I go to party with sometimes on a Sunday morning in Bergheim will be comfortable going to Circo Loco. And I don't think it's a bad thing. I just don't think it's their scene. What we need is we need more spaces similar, similar to like a Grease Mula, similar to a Fold, similar to a Bergheim in all our different sort of cultural hotspots around Europe or around the world so that we have the opportunity to play more often and then also be given the opportunity when we graduate from those spots to give an opportunity to f go and play at Fabric to go and play at XOYO to go and play at I don't know Ministry of Sound wherever these big places are right 
that's the what that's what's needed at the moment but we don't have it so what we have is a a group of djs on tech on techno twitter complaining who are really good who are really talented in their own right but they don't necessarily have that big room big festival experience or big room let's say big room glitzy room whatever it may be experience so there's no way for this there's so they have to jump steps and then jumping steps is probably hurting them more right they go from playing you know dingy nightclub somewhere in the middle of berlin to suddenly then playing on the biggest stage when they don't have that experience in between which everyone else did have so i think we need more in between spaces we need a place where you can go to that's 500 600 cap or you can play weekly right in an environment where you're free to do what you want and then when there's opportunity for you to go to play in circle local you know what to do in that sort of room or with that kind of people that kind of clientele um that's what i think is basically going on i just think there's a lot of anger a lot of frustration it's definitely not a black madonna thing because again like i said she's a fairly competent dj she's probably a better producer than she is a dj a better remixer for sure but she's not really stealing any spots really in it she just happens to be one of the only what five or six prominent women djs out there at the moment who are doing bits but because the people underneath her are so far behind in terms of money earned or in terms of platforms that they play at it just doesn't make sense sometimes in it because she essentially jumps her steps herself and you think you jumped her steps yourself too but i think the best possible way forward is for collectively for some people to come together i don't know who put their money where their mouth is and just open their own spot that essentially advocates for or essentially gives a platform to marginalized groups within the dance music scene i just think that's the best way forward i just don't think cancelling black madonna is going to serve a purpose because those people that book her will never book the people that can complain about it or in a large or meaningful way i don't think will happen but what may happen that i'm hopeful about is that a place like Bergheim, or one of those big institutions sort of sets the pace that could be something that might happen. This reckoning might push a place like Bergen to be like, you know what? We're going to put our money where our mouths are. We're not going to announce anything. We're just going to start when we reopen. We're just going to start booking mad people who happen to be the non kind of traditional Bergheim DJ, right? No more Adam Byers, no more, I don't know, not Ben Clock, he's a flopping resident there. But you know, that kind of, you know, Matthias Tanzen, whatever these people's names are, right? And they start booking a lot more very DJs in terms of what they represent, their styles and stuff. That could be pretty cool. And they just do it silently. Or maybe they announce it, but they just do it in sort of like a show and prove way. Like every club notch, every kind of knack of how you, how you pronounce that, um, every Friday and Saturday or every weekend, they have a lineup that contains, you know, let's say half of it is people who are identified as non-white that'd be pretty sick and they just set a precedent in the scene where everyone just have to copy it by hook and crook just have to copy it but then of course you come into a problem of like different scenes might not have the djs to support that kind of you know um to support that sort of initiative and you get some issues in terms of giving people a platform who are just Jeff based on their color which gets into the video i spoke about earlier but that could be a way forward because i just think cancelling a black madonna giving her a lot of hate online because she happens to have a she happens to landed on a good name that suited her for a while is a bit unfair in my opinion but hey what can you do but now she's not the best madonna hopefully people leave her alone hopefully she stops abusing um, mixers too that could be a good start and we get to a far better place because it's just sad to see everybody bickering especially in the dance music scene man. i just think we're we're a small subculture we're a small little scene we sort of are it sort of is yeah most yeah anyone that gets into it gets into it for a sense of escapism right you don't necessarily want your politics to be reflected in that sort of thing but you know it is what it is nowadays um we're in a world where your politics affects everything that you do for some reason um it's annoying it really is it's frustrating but it just is the case if that is the case let's try and you know i don't believe in creating utopias but you can create some kind of utopia in dance music scene you can create your own version of it right whether it's putting together a day rave a day f a weekend festival putting together some money for uh, to rent a warehouse space that you do parties out on the low there's got to be something that we can do ourselves instead of pointing the thing at the man or at the person that you feel as if it's taking your spot when they're not really taking your spot you don't really want to be playing or maybe they do i don't know maybe they do maybe just they just do want that job they want their position they want to delete her from, but i don't think that's true i just think they just look at her and just think she's shit i should be doing that 
And I think that's fair, but I think it's also fair to you to be like, you know what, maybe just do it in your own spot so you don't ever have to answer to someone like that. That could be better to go forward. I don't know. What do I know? I'm just a small kid living in a big city. I don't know anything. But yeah, big up the Bless Madonna. Big up the Bless Madonna. And big up everyone that actually got her to change her name. I think that's a pretty decent thing because I've reading that quietest interview she didn't want to go through with it she was really really against it she didn't want to buckle under the pressure of the woke mob and now look right takes one unfortunate passing of a black man in America and suddenly everyone's doing the right thing for some dubious some, for doing the right thing for the wrong reasons because they don't want to be looked up they don't want to be on the wrong side of history quote unquote it's just god damn it just do the right thing to begin with anyway innit make everyone's lives easier but hey what can you do and you wonder too don't you have any friends as well I keep saying friends thing but it's like imagine you're called the Black Madonna you look like the Black Madonna and you you tell your friends what you do and they ask you what your DJ name is you don't cringe a bit you don't feel a bit weird telling what you're telling your friends back home you have no idea what the scene's about what your DJ name is I just don't it just would have been an easy thing just to avoid for me in that regard but I don't know again what do I know <laughs>